Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Abris. Uh, this is the kind of extended demo for the game. Now, I get sent codes to various games, uh, you know, fairly regularly, often of course, racing games. However, this is nothing to do with vehicles, but when I got sent this, I had to have a quick look at it, I checked it out, and it was really a couple of sort of tutorial levels and was thoroughly impressed, so I wanted to do a video on it. It's a little bit different, but it is really cool. It's all about destruction. Now, we like destruction here. The aim of the game is pretty simple. We have to build stuff to try and destroy these... Well, it's the main bits of these, like, red, glowing orbs, whatever you want to call them. We want to try and destroy these on the level and take out as much of the buildings as you can with them. To do that, we have... Things like these beams, for example. Uh, now, what we do is we build a little contraption uh, that will hopefully take out as much of the buildings as possible. So I'm using connectors here to join these bits of pillar to together. Uh, I don't actually know whether it's going to let me... Uh, I don't think it would let me, like build stuff through that building, for example, if I so chose. Uh, I don't think I can do that. That might not quite reach. We'll see. We'll see how this fares. So we'll see this on the end there. Uh, do we want another bit coming out there? Probably. Sure, we'll go for that. Uh, and now I can. So I'm not going to have connectors, but I can just stick sort of loose pillars along and kind of they're going to tumble and just hope they take out stuff along the way. I don't think I get any points for using less building, if you like. So that all clatterous way. The top part there didn't really work. I mean, it's definitely done the job. But that has exploded just about everything. <laughs> awesome. I'd say that worked pretty well. I would say that worked pretty well indeed. That almost cleared out the whole building. That is 99% destroyed. You know what? I'm going to say that's probably about as good as I'm going to get on that. That one there was not too crazy in terms of what was needed. Um, so, uh, I, I think I already did do... Ooh. Ultra heavy cube. So they're kind of normal. This... Does that just spin? Ah, okay. Oh, I managed to remove the thing. Does that just uh, spin around? So is this for, I guess, maybe building like a big destruction arm sort of thing? I don't quite know what I'm going to do with a cube on the end. Sure, we'll just stick a cube on the top. Let's see what happens there. Uh, does that not... Ah, okay, so ah, we've got to click on it. And then that will spin, activate it, it'll spin around, it'll plow its way through the belt. I mean, the destruction is glorious. Uh, it looks really, really cool. Um, and yeah, that can spin around all it likes. I don't know where the, where the cube went that was stuck on the end. Uh, I guess actually maybe we didn't need to... Uh, maybe I could have... I don't know whether that would have just stuck to the top of that on its own. Either way, I mean, it did the job, it did. It span around, and we took out a building, destroyed a fair chunk. As I said, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Teardown in some ways. Uh, in, in like the building's crumbling kind of a thing. Uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you like Teardown and that sort of style of stuff, here, of course, we don't have vehicles. We can drive through stuff, but um, we do have other things that we can do. Can the bombs, so... They... Okay, so we have to build out. Uh, right, I guess... What we're going to have to do... Is if we build out till we get... Uh, across here and then... Place bombs either side? Blow up the bridge support and then the whole thing should come crumbling down? Would be my best guess as to how this is going to work. We're going to hope that that'll do the job. Uh, we'll have a couple of connectors more here. Not exactly the best placed, but it seems to do... Okay, so it can't quite go... Oh, that's fine. I mean, the 
that bit there can go. It doesn't matter if it's slightly stuck up. Why is that not going there? Okay, that didn't want to build on top. I'm not quite sure why that was the case. But I guess if we do this... Okay, we might have to... So it doesn't... The thing doesn't support it very well. However, it does do the job. Uh, that, oh, that thing, I always thought that thing was going to fail. It didn't. Uh, you could have very quickly spam click stuff. Oh, is that bit of bridge going to fall into the ravine? Please do. I guess that counts. don't quite know what counts as destroyed. I guess we lose... We miss out on these little bits here, maybe. I don't know how you'd ever clear those out, to be honest with you. Bridge has fallen into the ravine. And there we go. Uh, yeah, 94% destroyed. I guess maybe, maybe we can do something a little bit better with that. Uh, ooh, okay, we might not have cars, but we do have rockets. Now this, this alike, definitely. Um, okay, so, we have got to take out that stuff. How do we take out that stuff? Do, will we be able to just do it from, I don't think that's high enough, is it? Can we zoom in so we can pan the camera about? We get a fair amount of camera movement. I don't know whether that's high enough. That, to me, looks like it's just going to smash it. I guess we can just test it, can't we? Uh, oh. Uh, that looks like it's just going to smash into the wall. But let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just checking. We are indeed correct. So that doesn't work. Uh, we will reset... Um, so we'll go reset again. Go, maybe, okay. Right, that's fine. Uh, oh, how do we want to launch this then? I mean, do we... Will it let me build like this, do we reckon? Uh, might do. I guess. Do we, do we reckon we need it to be... Do I want it to twist down slightly? Perhaps we do. Perhaps if we put, like, a Q... This might work, or this might be horrific and a terrible idea. Uh, so if we click go and then go, oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes. Fire, oh, it's, not gone, it's not gone very straight. <laughs> it's kind of worked. <laughs> it's kind of worked. We blew up half of it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's just go back and reset everything. So, if we go like that and then fire the rocket as quick as we can... Oh, that, that twisted down. I feel like that balance may be a little iffy. Might not quite work. Maybe, maybe that's not the way to go here. Uh, can I... I can't delete something that's, like... Load bearing, if you will. Uh, okay, so maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe the way to go is one of these. We lay one of these beams down on top of it. Then we should. Maybe we'll just try. We'll go for simplicity. Uh, we'll just try rocket booster thing. That might not be high enough. No, it's not high enough. Hmm. Yeah, the other option is, I and mean, we can keep it perfectly balanced, I guess, on this. There's no reason why it won't sit nicely balanced. We, we'll have enough time just to fire the booster if it's going to top. It doesn't topple anyway. It does like to go very nose down. Mm, we take it, we've got a little better. Okay, so that clearly not the way to go. Uh... See, I'm trying to do this all in one go. I don't think we'd need multiple steps to make this work. I don't think we should need multiple steps. Uh, maybe we just need connector on the back and then thruster on that. That should just tip it back. There we go, like that! <laughs> hey! Perfect! That is what we were looking for. Just get the angle right, fire the rocket propelled pillar through some buildings. This is demolition done the most entertaining way possible. Yes, there would be sensible ways to demolish stuff, but rocket propelled pillars at uh, whatever it is you're trying... Oh, okay. Maybe I... 
Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it wasn't restarting as cleanly as I thought it was. Never mind. Um, that's definitely the way to do it. I mean, we're only playing the... As I said, we're only kind of playing the, the demo, if you will. So, not too... Uh, not exactly worried about high scores, etc. Oh, uh, okay. So we've got to go... How on earth do I do this? How on earth do I do this? Uh, is there a way? Okay, I mean... Can I... See, I don't want to go... I don't want the, that launching that direction. How do I... Can I set it to go a different way, maybe? If I was to do this... No, because it doesn't let me just delete a load-bearing one, does it? Hmm. Okay. We have a spinny thing. But it's going to be no good. Uh, what about... No, don't do that. What about if we drag that as far over to the side as we can? I don't actually know if there's a way to put something in on the bottom. The camera can't spin as far as I know uh, to go down from my experiences. We can go to this sort of angle, but this is as far down as we can go. So, not 100% sure how I'm supposed to solve this one. Uh, unless there, if there's any way I can drop stuff from the top? No. Uh, hmm. I mean, we can do con we can connect her, but we're not going to connect high enough up here, really, are we? I mean, even if we add we just add as much junk on top of stuff as possible, it's still not going to put us high enough to blow anything meaningful up. In fact, there's nothing can connect to the thruster. Well, if we just do that... Okay, it's high enough. <laughs> it did the job. <laughs> I mean, it worked. That was glorious. That was an incredibly glorious explosion. I didn't think that bomb was going to go high enough to take out the things making that float. Uh, amazingly, the tower still stands. That is surprisingly sturdy, your tower. Awesome. Didn't expect that to work. But it did. 99% destroyed again. Not sure what... I guess maybe some of the debris that kind of hangs around. Oh. Lasers. Yes. Want lasers. Lasers are good. Lasers are good for chaos. Awesome. Okay, so... I mean, I'm already seeing how this is going to get complicated. Uh, it's easy enough just smashing some pillars together and making buildings fall on each other. It's fun. It is easy enough. Uh, this is now starting to get a little bit more technical. Um, with its... You know, using lasers to, I guess, cut stuff apart. Actually, what if we go... Uh, up like this... Hoping this is not going. Is this going to be out far enough? We might have to go connect. I uh, don't know whether we're going to worry about height. Height might be needed. It might. I don't know why it would be needed. I don't think it would be needed. So we'll stick some these on the side, and then if we put a laser here, it won't matter because it's going to spin. Uh, it is basically cutting either side of that. Uh, so if we press go. And we do that. Okay, so that's going to whirl the arms around, and it should cut up either side, and it should then fall apart. That side's fallen off. That's done what it wants. Yes! And there goes the other side. Whirling sort of robot of doom has done the job. That's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, I, I, not only do I like the idea of having lasers cutting through buildings, I can also see how fiddly and complicated this is all going to get. In some ways kind of reminds me a little bit of Besieged as well. A long, long time since I've played that game, but the sort of building building contraptions to destroy stuff. Use mirrors. Oh, good God, that's going to get complicated. Um, right. Awesome. Uh, so these are these surfaces, perhaps the one. You know what? Let's just. I feel like 
for science, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a laser in and we're going to see what happens when we spin the thing around. Uh, so what do you bounce off? How do you interact with stuff? Okay, so it's got to be higher than that. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess... Oh, game? We, are we happy? I want to... Oh, wait. I'm actually in the build mode. Never mind. Ignore me. Shush. Uh, I guess then we have to build these... Stack those on top of each other. And then have a laser. Seems reasonable to me. Okay, laser on. We can spin you that way. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's not quite going high enough, I don't think. What if we... Okay, well, that's definitely done a good portion of damage. Maybe we need to, like, stop the laser from spinning, perhaps? If we do that... Uh... Okay, that has definitely done the trick there of cutting through some stuff. I guess we can move the laser back going there. Uh, I mean, that's very... Uh, that is a really cool little puzzly thing. How do I get the, th the light, the laser, over that wall? Uh, do I have any way of doing that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, that's just going to stop when it gets through there. Never going high enough to clear that side. Can we bounce a laser off anything else? Because it's never going to go through that. That stuff there is solid. I don't know how we get, I don't know how we get those. Is there any way to get the laser? Uh, no parts. Yeah, yeah, reset level. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's the case. Okay, so that's involved. That's a thing in there. I don't know how it works. Didn't pay attention. Probably should have done. Okay, so we know we're going to have to basically build... Do we want to go further back here? Let's just try building this right at the far corner. Uh, it gives us different angles to play with. Okay, so we can spin that around. Okay. What happened? Did I just break my laser? Why is my laser broken? <laughs> what sort of iffy laser has this given us? That's not worked at all. Did it? Maybe I was a little too close to the edge, or maybe I don't think things quite lined up perfectly. That is a distinct possibility. Uh, we just had like slightly off-center rotators, and that got the laser lost and confused. I don't know. Uh, or maybe like stopping the laser. I don't know, shouldn't have stopping the laser. Shouldn't have caused it to break down. Uh, right. So that has fired its way into there. Ah. Okay. I think I see what I got to try and do. Uh, if we can get that to uh, just... Oh, okay. Can we get that to just, like, bounce through the centre there? Does that do something? Aha! Okay, so we hadn't quite blown up the orb bit properly on that last one. That's fine. I know what I'm doing now. Uh, oh, and then it's going to hopefully knock down that bit there. Uh, oh, I've got to remember. To, actually, can I use these controls with the numbers? I can. Awesome. My laser... Oh, that laser's broken again. No. No, no, no. I needed the laser. What has busted on it? Maybe he's stopping and... S what is that that's broken? Oh, do I only have so much charge, maybe? That's what we've got to try and do. That's what we've got to try and do is... Blow these little sort of clear orbs up. They'll lower the doors so we can bounce the laser through. But I feel like well, we're obviously not quite doing something right, because we're breaking out our laser in some way that shouldn't happen. I don't... Okay, we'll try... Like that. Why has that happened? Why has that killed it? Not sure. Oh. Didn't quite mean to revert the... I should have just restarted the level. Don't quite know what's breaking on this to cause that. Does the laser need to sit somewhere differently on here, maybe? 
Further forward? Okay. Well, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get the... I'm not 100%. But why is that falling off? Does it have to be perfectly aligned? Perhaps? Like perfectly sat on the top of that? Don't know how to stop it from... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to stop it from falling apart. I know I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. I'm just not quite sure. Okay, I've got the puzzle. I just can't figure out why this keeps breaking. So that is should be as central as it can be. Don't know. Uh, <laughs> right. So we want to do just a little bit further movement. That's good. So that's tipped everything over. Has that uh, cut through everything? Well, kind of. Okay, well that has done a lot better. That's blowing everything up. Awesome. Okay, so we're blowing up all of those bits. Now we need to bounce the laser through that bit, which is kind of cutting through. Awesome stuff. Oh, laser's on. Uh, spinning the other way, please. Fantastic. Oh, we've made lots of laser grids. That's also good. We want that to happen. That's been chewed up. Uh, now we need to go back that way. Chew up some more stuff, if you please. Lasers. Uh, <laughs> No! Ugh. Why is my laser breaking randomly while I'm spinning it about? Do I have to be more precise with it? That's really irritating me. We got the thing open as well. Ugh. Could we just get a more reliable laser? I feel like this is the <laughs> biggest problem we have. Are we lasering ourselves, maybe? Are we bouncing it off somewhere and reflecting it at ourselves? Is that what's killing us? Do we shoot ourselves with the laser? Maybe that's what I'm missing, as we're just, like, farting about with it. We managed to bounce it off uh, a, uh, the thing. It shouldn't be able to, though. Uh, it might be something to do with... Um, if I'm... No, because sometimes it works fine with the... It's like if I have both the rotators on at the same time. Sometimes, possibly, that's causing it to freak out and break. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I did differently last time to make it work. Let's just okay. I'm going to try and only press two. I'm going to try and not use the rotator going the other way. No, why? Why is that broken again? I don't get it. I was I was only pressing two. I wasn't even like twisting the rotators. I'm not. I figured out how to do the puzzle. I just you know what. We're going to play the next level because I don't know why the laser keeps falling apart. There doesn't seem to be a, a rhyme or reason to it. Pistons to throw objects. Well, this sounds fun. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. This sounds awesome. I like this idea. Um, so, basically, we have to drop stuff off the edge. Uh, to break those little, like, glass orby bits, and when they're broken... I say they're glass, I don't actually know if they are. We drop that off there, and then this should... hopefully... Uh, that's not very well lined up, so we'll just do that. This should, in theory, do the job. Oh, I didn't even mean to, mean to have an ultra-heavy cube. We'll see whether this works. Go. So that should just drop onto there. Bang. Is that not there? It fires. Oh, I get how it works. I thought those were going to fire forward. We've got to drop stuff. We've got to break the things and then... Uh, right, we've got to break the things and then we've got to fire enough stuff forward for it to uh, actually like go into that scaffolding. This is terribly built, but it doesn't really need to be well built, just as long as it takes out that. Good, good, good. Debris. Lots of debris is in front. Something should be in front. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I like that. <laughs> yes, pistons, exploding stuff. That's cool. Okay, that's a fun little mechanic uh, for just launching your debris in build at buildings. 
uh, we're going to get a good amount destroyed, I should think. 79% destroyed, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, cannons. Oh, we have wet. I thought it was going to be mostly f making buildings fall on buildings, but no, we have cannons, we have pistons, we have all sorts of stuff. Um, so, we have a cannon to go here. I like you got like, the little laser telling you where it's going to hit. So, we have a cannon on there. And then we've got to... We've got to somehow get debris into... Uh, what do we want to have? Do we want to have connectors here? Uh, that might work. It might, I'm not 100% sure if it's actually going to work or not. But we're going to see. Cause I, no, because I don't know if I want connectors. Because I feel like this might just pull the whole lot down. Uh, uh, we can try it. I'm just going to say, I'm building kind of two different things here just to see what happens. Can you just load the pistons? Oh, that one fell. That one twisted to the side. Uh, oh. That was awesome. Don't think any bits of, of my debris were in there. No, it's just fired some junk. But nowhere close enough of my stuff. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the cannon bit is basically fixed in this at this point. As I said, this is just a demo. This is a showcase. I'm sure we'll get more complicated levels as time goes on. I'm liking the uh, amount of, I guess, sort of puzzle solving with wacky physics that we have going on here. That's fun. Um, using, yeah... I like, I like the potential for a lot of different puzzles uh, that go on with this. That's pretty cool. Uh, do I want... Do we reckon... Actually, maybe we just do this. I don't know if I need the connectors. I feel like the connectors just give us a whole load of grief. What we might want is a connector on here. It's just to extend that to try and get these cubes to reach. Uh, and then if we just go build up build up. That one there should fall in and that should there just give us an extra one in case. And then if we go fire that just immediately Oh, a, a couple of cubes made it in. Go on cubes! Yes! Do your damage! Please! Please do your damage! Uh, you've landed Oh, nicely done. Okay. That punch and glory. Uh, that worked. That worked. Ugh. Right, let's go back. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a more efficient way of doing that, by the way. I'm just not uh, doing a very good job. Ah, what if? I mean, we can basically copy what we've built on that side. If we go there, there... Oh, no, wait, we don't want a connector there, though. Uh, what if we do connector, connector, build a cube on the side there, so that matches that pillar, because we know this system worked from the other side. So then we just go, fire the cannon. That should drop cubes on. They're not quite, isn't it? Oh, we've only got one cube on the right-hand side because I think I was a little bit wonky. Fire, and please punch straight through. Oh, hey! <laughs> Perfect! Ah, uh, this, this is a really, really cool game. I really like it. It looks glorious. The destruction is fantastic. Um, you know, having puzzle-based destruction levels is always a good way to get me interested um, in the game. There's a sandbox mode, you know, I really, really like this. I think there is a public demo available as well around the place. I should definitely put a link to the Steam page anyway for this game. I really recommend you give it a try. Um, there's a lot of potential for this. A lot of potential for some fun puzzles, a lot of potential for some, some wacky stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, okay, we don't have vehicles, I know that's what my channel is mostly about, but there is a lot of cool destruction. And, you know, we've got rocket boosters, so you're kind of making vehicles out of pillars and stuff. And there's a cannon. Yeah. I very much like this. I very much like this indeed. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.